In today's video, part four in our series on file types, we're going to focus on zip files. Zip is a common file format that's used to compress or reduce the file size of one or more files and store them together into a single specific type of folder. You know you have received a zip file if the icon looks like a manila file folder with a zipper on it and the file extension is .zip or .zipx. Similar types of compressed and grouped files have the extension .rar or .tar. Stay tuned as this video will show you how to create zip files for sending and how to open or extract zipped files you have received. When would you want or need to create a zip file? Using zip format may be appropriate when you are sending a large file to someone digitally, such as when sending as an email attachment. Many email services have file size limits on attachments. If you have too many attachments or too large of a file, you may not be able to email it. You might use zip format to keep sets of files together for transporting or store files in zip format when archiving as well. Like many computing processes, there are multiple ways to create zip files and many software programs that are able to perform this task. In this video, I'll be using the tools built into the Windows operating system to do so. Let's create a zip file. I've made a sample file folder and put it here on my desktop. It's called sample zip. Inside the sample zip folder, are some documents that Joe Smith might need if he was applying for a job. His resume in Word format, his resume in PDF format, his high school and university diplomas and transcript from college, as well as his OSHA safety card and his CPR card. These seven files of varying file types are stored in this file folder. To create a zip file out of our sample, we'll hover our mouse over the icon and right click with our mouse. From the right click menu, we could choose 7-zip. This is a specific type of zip file, but most people aren't going to have this software on their machines. Instead, to use the software features built into Windows, use the Send To menu instead. Click on Compressed or Zip Folder. Windows will make the zip file for you nearly instantly and store it in the same location as your original file. In our case, it's on the desktop. Our original file has the Open File Folder icon and the zip file has the manila folder with the zipper on it. So it's easy to tell which is the original and which is the zip file. Viewing what files are inside a zip file is very easy. You just double click on it to open the contents in the Windows File Explorer. When you double click on sample zip, we can see there is a subfolder inside called sample zip. And inside that folder, just like the one on our desktop, are Joe's seven files that he needs for his job search. I've deleted our original files from the desktop. Let's change the scenario up a little bit. Imagine that Joe emailed me this zip file with his job search documents. I've downloaded the zip file from my email and saved it here on my desktop. Now I'm going to help Joe update his resume. I can double click on the zip file to open it. And I can see his documents inside, but I can't work with them until I extract those documents, which basically opens the zipper on the compressed file. When we're here in Windows File Explorer on a zip file, you should see a pink or red or even dark gray tab here at the top that has your extract tools and we can extract all of the files to our computer. When we extract the files, we do need to tell the computer where we want to save that open folder. 
For now, it's asking if I want to keep it right on the desktop, or I could browse around and save it someplace like my documents folder or on a portable flash drive. I'll leave it as it is now, so the new files will show onto the desktop. And if I leave this box checked, it will show me the files once they're extracted. I can go ahead and click Extract, and the magic happens. Because computers can do work so quickly, you might have missed it happening. But you'll see that a second Windows File Explorer window is open, and we are now looking at the contents of Sample Zip on our desktop. This is the regular file, not the zip file. There's no extract tools here at the top. These folders have been opened and extracted, and the files inside are ready to use. Behind it is the zip folder. And you know you're in the zip folder because you can see the zipper on the little icon, and we have extract tools at the top. Looking closer at our desktop, you can see we have the zip folder as well as the newly opened sample zip folder. And it's ready to use. We could pop in here, open Joe's Word resume, and make the changes that he needs. A second way to extract the files from zip format is to right click on it and choose Extract All. You'll get a similar window where you can browse to a location and you can have the checkbox to show the extracted files when complete. Click Extract and your files have been unzipped and stored in the same location as the zip folder here on the desktop. Compressing and extracting zip files can't always be avoided, but you can consider using cloud storage space as an alternative. Upload and store your original file to the cloud, then share a link to the file with your colleagues. They can follow the link to download the document without needing to unzip a file. Microsoft Office offers OneDrive storage space with subscriptions or you can use Google Drive to store your larger files. There are other cloud storage services like Dropbox as well. Be sure to research to see which cloud storage solution will fit your budget and your storage needs. Let's review. To create a zip file, you'll right click on a normal file or file folder from the desktop or from the Windows File Explorer. Choose Send To from the menu and click on Compressed or Zip Folder. To extract files from a zip for editing, right-click on the zipped folder. Choose Extract All from the menu. Click Browse to choose a different location for your extracted files if necessary. Then click on the Extract button when you're ready. Or Double-click on a zip folder to open it in the Windows File Explorer. Click on Extract All from the command bar at the top. Click Browse to choose a different location for your extracted files if necessary. And click the Extract button when you're ready. We hope this video helped you to feel more confident opening and creating zip files. To reach our digital literacy program, visit our website at www.ccerensselier.org or call 518-272-4210. Thanks for watching.